Most people in America know what is and isn't legal and illegal. Most people in America are raised with the rules of society through their schools. Most people in America know that they have the right to make a choice. And the right to make a choice is what is being denied many Americans today. It's being denied by some of the people in the American government. It's being denied by many people in the police department. It's being denied by many people in a community that is black over white, or white over Hispanic, or Hispanic over Latino, and I don't know the difference all of that. But what I can say to you is when rights are denied by you to any other person, you have failed yourself. And you've not availed yourself of understanding our Constitution or the Bill of Rights or anything international because you're so focused on your local life that you don't get that as an American citizen, you are responsible for every fucking treaty there is. Did you know that? That as an American citizen, you are a liaison to the world. And you might like not to think so because think, oh no, we have people to do that in our government. We have people to travel overseas like Biden. We have people to do it. Yes, and he earned it, motherfuckers. How many times did Trump ever serve in an office in any community across America for our government? Never. So while he's a major business, big businessman, what did he do to help grow small businesses across the land? Which is what America was founded on. Which is what made America great. And what created the corporations that we currently have. So let's talk about who's appropriate to the government, but let's talk about you as a citizen. What are you liable for and what are you legally responsible for? You are liable for every single decision that you make once you reach a particular age of majority in your state. And that varies, unfortunately, from state to state, but generally it starts at 18. But here's the deal that we know from science. Your brain isn't fully adult till at least 23 or 24. So good luck with that. That you're making decisions that might not be fully based on being an adult. But you're making decisions because you don't get what the world is about. And when you as a teenager think you have the right to give an old man the finger, you better be prepared to get beaten down. But when you as a person don't allow someone to speak their mind, then you're a fool around town. You see, everyone has to have discourse. Everyone has to have discussion. Everyone has to have rights, not just blacks. And we're creating a black entitlement campaign that is hurting us whites and hurting other colors in the world. We've seen the abuse of Chinese. We've seen the abuse of Japanese. We've seen the abuse of, Je of Koreans. But here's the deal. If you don't want your community abused, then make sure everybody's living upright in your version of faith. And your version of faith is about morality. Your version of faith has to be pro-society. Your version of faith has to be pro-life to a point. And I don't mean about the abortion of babies or fetuses. What I'm talking about is the right to life for every citizen who is legitimately here. The right to life is based on our nationality and our rights of being a born American citizen. And our rights become to us with responsibilities. And what I get tired of seeing is how American parents are not teaching their children responsibilities. What I get tired of seeing is how American children are being literally led to believe that they're the greatest gift to the world, which is important. All children are a blessing from God. Regardless of how you got them, if they're yours biologically, if they're yours that you've adopted them, or if they're yours because you brought them into your family from being uh, a man or a woman who's open to someone else's born child. But here's the reality. You have a right to be you, but you don't have the right to abuse people. You have a right to be you, but you don't have the right to deface people. You have the right to be you, but you don't have the right to demoralize people. Now, part of my cast is about being dichotomous. Because I'm going to push the buttons. I'm going to talk about things happening to me. But I'm also accuse you of doing them to me. And that's an example. I'm also going to talk about my ideology. But I'm also going to show you through my language that I might not be the same. I might be dichotomous. But what I'm going to tell you about your rights is that you have the right to you. And I have the right to me. And the minute that you cross your line. And cross the line into thinking that you as a stranger. You as an employee of a, of a major brand. Have a right to me. You better watch out. Because nobody's going to become a slave again in America.